In this video, I'm going to show you how I secure my three-part screw clasps. I mainly use these for knotted jewellery, so amber or pearl, but they're also really good as bracelet or necklace clasps for beaded jewellery. These clasps have two ends, which sort of look like beads. And then they've got the little screw part, which goes in the centre to connect the two halves. You can also get these clasps in just about any colour to match your beads. First thing we want to do is just tie a simple knot on the end of our thread. A little overhand knot is fine, so just around itself and then through the loop. For this we're using 0.6mm cotton knotting thread. Now I don't want that tail to be too long, so just cutting it off a couple of millimetres from the knot. Now with the end without the knot, we're going to place that down inside the screw clasp. So in the bigger hole and pulling it out the smaller hole at the back. Pulling that knot most of the way through, just leaving it out a little bit so we can pop some glue on there. But then your knot is going to sit on the inside of the clasp. Now I come in with my Hypo Cement Jewelry Glue and place it all over this knot, especially on the outside and underneath of the knot so that when I pull it inside my clasp, it's going to fuse onto the clasp. Now we can gently pull that thread to pull that knot inside the clasp. Now I like to lock this thread in place by tying a knot. So just my normal knotting technique, I bring the thread around to form an overhand knot. So just around to form a loop and then bringing the tail through the hole. Then we've got that little loop there. So I'm just going to bring my knotting tool inside that loop and pull that loop up against the screw clasp. Swapping my knotting tool onto the other side just so I can pull that knot really nice and tight and up close to the screw clasp. Now I'm just pulling up against it with my fingernail just to make sure that knot's really nice and tight. And that's one end of your screw clasp. So now you can go ahead and pop all your beads on. Once it's at your desired length, then we're going to place the other end of our screw clasp on. So for this second end of the clasp, we place our thread in the back of the clasp or in the smaller hole and pull it right down close up against the beads or against your knot if you've done knotted jewellery. You want it sitting up against those beads nice and tight and then you want to be able to hold it nice and tight as well. So there's no slack in there while you are attaching your screw. So I've wrapped it around my fingers really tight and I'm just holding it. Now I can come back in with my Hypo Cement Jewellery Glue and with the pin head of this glue, this allows me to get right down in there and place the glue down on the thread where it comes into the hole. And I drag the tip of my glue around the outside, so in the grooves of the screw thread on the outer edges as well. Making sure that the glue is on the twine as well, coming through the clasp. Now firmly holding that in place, we're going to grab our centre screw and start screwing it in while you're holding that thread nice and tight. You really want to try and get at least a couple of turns on this screw without it moving the thread at all. So you're going to try and screw it in as far as you can without this thread popping out the back of your clasp. As long as you can get a few solid twists in there, it should be fine because you've glued it in there, so that should hold it in place as well. Once you've gone in a couple of turns with this centre screw, then you can cut this excess thread off I normally leave it at least a few hours to dry before screwing the clasp up, but your bracelet is finished. 
The only thing left is that when I come and screw this clasp up, sometimes the center screw is a little bit long. So obviously I'll test it when I screw the clasp up, but I might just cut maybe one millimeter or two millimeters just off the end, making sure to still leave enough of a screw that it screws up tight. But you do want that whole center screw to sit inside the clasp so it closes up together. <laughs> 